Not showing up here though. Hey, my friends, every time around this time of year, I start preparing for my Why is it not working? Hey, hey.
All righty, here we go. I made it. I made it. Yep, YouTube. Still says I'm not streaming, even though I know I'm streaming. Kind of crazy, right? <laughs> 905. Hey, sweet smell of rain, 905. Yeah, sorry about that. Eventually, eventually I want to try and do some earlier streams, kind of, you know, help out everybody else who can't make it at this time. So let's get these all set up and get ready to go here. Sweet smell of the rain. Hey, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And Figgy, again, thank you for joining me. Appreciate you guys tonight. We're going to be doing some soccer images. Not a whole bunch of them, though, because I wasn't really happy with most of them. And I only shot the first half of the soccer match. So it's... Um, let me get one image set up here so you can see what I was dealing with. Pacific Northwest at this time, the sun was setting. Let's see if I can find it. That'd be a good one to show you. And you can see what I was dealing with at the soccer match. The sun was setting, so the sun was coming at a really, really bad angle. Which happens. You know, those things happen, so. Take a look at this image right here. You can see, let me turn this down. The sun, it's really coming in really sharp angle because it's so low on the horizon. All right, so let's jump back here to the beginning. <clears throat> I've already gone through and I narrowed these images down. I had about 500 and some. I narrowed it down to, I don't know, a handful. <laughs> Just something for us to play with tonight. And if we get these done real fast, we'll move on to, uh, we'll move on to maybe some basketball images that I took last year. All righty. So I'm going to use in Lightroom, we're going to be doing raw images this evening. I know, surprising. Raw images. And you'll see why shortly that I decided to do raw tonight. So beginning of the game, obviously the uh, soccer players are coming out and saying, Hey, Mr. Official, please call the game our way. That's what we want. Nothing special about the image, just kind of a funny image, just to kind of get warmed up. You know, as a photographer, you got to kind of get warmed up, get those fingers loose. See what's going on. But for fun, we can do a quick, do a quick edit on which one? Let's, yeah, we can do this one. She's got a nice little happy smile. Again, just gonna lose right Lightroom, just gonna go straight into it. Just gonna zoom in a little bit. Let's get rid of this now. Don't need that anymore. 1 12 50th of a second, F2.8, ISO 100. Yes, it was a bright sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest. Using the good old Sony A7 IV and the Tamron 70 to 180. Currently the go-to setup I have right now. I really like the feel of it. It's nice and lightweight. I um, also have on here a, um, a power grip, which I recently purchased. Because it doesn't come with one, you know. Some of the upper-end cameras do come with them, but this one doesn't. And um, this is not the Sony power grip. I'll be doing a review of this grip probably later on. Um, Sony Power Grip is like $350. Yeah, I didn't really want to spend that much. So this is like a third party brand. We'll see how it does. Uh, sweet smell of rain. You love soccer. Hate the new venue one of your local semi pro teams moved to. Horrible lighting. That's the. I wish they would consult with us a little bit and just think about media and what we have to deal with. And come in a little bit tighter on this. This right here is just typical high school game. It's actually kind of a nice venue for soccer, aside from the evening games where the sun just comes in and just blows things out. Now, what I could have done, and what most people in these first couple of shots, I've got the sun to my back, basically, which is what you would normally do, but I mixed it up a little bit. Things got started. I went to the other end. And you'll see why later. I had two purposes in mind for this. One has to do with, I, wanted, I was looking for a specific lighting. The other one was just to see how the images would look with this camera. So this one really don't have to do very much with. And if I wanted, I could drop down, you know me. Get rid of some of those highlights. Gives us some like nicer skin tone. Um, skin tone will be a little different because it is the golden hour as landscape photographers call it, right? It's the golden hour. 
I'm going to drop the shadows. We don't need anybody seeing what's behind them. Okay, a little more clarity. Kind of make it look a little bit nicer, a little more exciting. But that one right there is done. Because this is the type of image you don't really have to go tight on. You can stay kind of loose just to get the whole venue and everything in there. Again, the first few images are just introductions. Something fun, you know, fun and exciting to do. Let's see where it is. I don't remember what key that is. Oh, well, I was going to change something for you guys, but we're stuck with this. We're stuck with this look for now. Yeah. Okay. So this one definitely for sure. Let's drop down some highlights. Do the usuals. Let's get rid of the shadows. Again, don't have to do much with this one. There's plenty of light. Now later, there's some we may have to do some major adjusting to. Yeah, not a real favorite of mine. Let's uh, just and delete that one. Remove from Lightroom. I don't want that one. This one's kind of fun. Again, just your basic high school game. Wasn't there, like I said, the entire game. I was there for most of it. Drop the shadows and highlights again. It's got a little texture to it. Don't really need to bring on any more color to it. It's got plenty of color, I think. There's another fun one right there. Happy people. Man, why wouldn't you be? It was a beautiful day. Yeah, just kind of center them up. These type of images I edit just a little bit differently because you don't have to zoom all the way in on the action. Yeah, I'm just doing some basic stuff. Don't have to do a lot. Now she doesn't look quite as happy, so I'm not going to include that one. All right, game is underway. And now if you can tell, positioning is different. You can see the shadows are going this way. I now have the shadows coming my direction. And I did that, like I said, two reasons. One, I wanted to test out the camera, see how it would do in these type, this type of a circumstance. The other one is I wanted to get that almost cinematic dark side on one side of the face and then bright side on the other. So if I would have stayed down this way, you can see it's all sunlight. It's just bright. It's just smashing them in the face, lighting everything up, which is what you're normally supposed to do is have the sun to your back. But if you want to go for something a little bit different, a little bit, you know, like cinematic, maybe this is what you do. This one, not a great image, really. We'll do a quick edit on it. I can't quite get her to the positioning, but that's okay. It's still good image. It looks good. On this one, I probably won't drop highlights hardly at all. So I want to have that contrast in the face. So you get the dark side here and it's bright over there. So on this one, I'll probably bring up shadows a little more so I can pull out this side. And see, that's working right there. I might, I think I might drop the highlights just a little bit though. Let's do this. Let's get in a little, zoom in a little bit more. So I want to, I want some highlights on this one. And that one, you can add a little more texture to it. It's kind of a tough call. It does look a little underexposed, but it's actually not. You know, if we jump in and add some more exposure, it starts kind of, you know, wiping the whole thing out. Just doesn't look good. And like I said, it's kind of getting more of a cin cinematic look. Trying to make this look a little more dramatic than you normally get. That one's, as you can see again, the sun's coming right at me. <laughs> and we'll edit this. It's not a great image, really. You do something like that. Get them all lined up following her. All right, let's bring up some shadows. Definitely need some shadows on this one. Like I said, it's not a great image. I really don't like it. Let's skip this one. I don't care for this one. So that one's good. I 
No, definitely in high school soccer when it comes to soccer. Let me um let me go back a second here. Let me reset this one. Got the official right over here on the left hand side. Normally, like in football, I'd be right up to the line as far as I can get, but when you've got this guy there, they keep you back. They push you back a little bit, and they don't want you to get much closer. Yeah, which is fine. I have no problem with that. You know, especially when the girls can actually run off the field and still kick the ball when they're standing out of bounds, but the ball's inbounds. Never figured that rule out. It doesn't really make sense to me. But hey, I'm just a sports photographer. I don't know anything. See, that one's kind of cool looking. We got them all coming at each other. She's both of them trying to get the ball. She's trying to chase it down again. And this one, I had to bring some shadows up. Of course, in this one, the problem is it blows out the background a little bit. So you got to deal with a little bit of, um, yeah, it's a little bit off. But that's okay. Add a little texture to it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like it. Now we got this one. She's kind of looking the wrong direction. Let's move on past that one. And the one part, you know, when you're shooting soccer, that is kind of a problem. Half the time, as you can see, she's looking down, looking down, looking down. So most of the time they're looking down. So it's kind of difficult to get a really good shot when they're always got their head down. Again, on this one, dark side, so we gotta bring the shadows up. This one's cleaning up nicely. And this, I will drop some of the highlights down because they're mostly in the back now. And you can see, I'm not really doing much. We could do some clarity instead, along with some texture. Maybe like that. If you want to go for a little more even dramatic look. Um, the one thing I would not do in this that you don't need to do, shooting at an ISO of 100, you definitely don't need noise reduction. I mean, you could throw it in there. It'll smooth out the skin a little more, but you don't really need it. It's a sports. You want kind of that rough, gruff look. And we'll just do the same thing. Just get a little bit tighter. Uh, put the ball down a little more. There we go. You back up here. We gotta bring those shadows because she is in the shade, obviously. Drop some highlights. Let's get a little more texture on it. Now you could mess with the dehaze in this, but I don't really see a reason to for this image. Yeah, so let's just put it right back at zero. All right, moving along. Got her one more time. Now I'll edit all these because they're all action shots of this action shots of this athlete. So when I put them out there and push them out to the public, if they want to purchase one, I'll go through and pick the best one, the one I think is going to sell, based on experience of uh, selling images. Again, these are fast images tonight because there's just not much to deal with. This one, unfortunately, she's facing the wrong direction and she's got her eyes closed. So we'll just remove that one. Don't need it. Took this one because they, they were kind of celebrating like a couple seconds before and now they aren't. So, yeah, we don't want that one. No fun action. Here we go. Here's something good going on. Now that we've got their heads up. Yeah, I decide what do you want? Obviously, you want to have the ball in the picture. So we can come down to here. And a lot of times what you do is you'd focus mostly on her, but this image, I have three athletes in here, three of them. That's three, poten three potential sales. So I keep all of them in there. Again, bring up some shadows. Highlights aren't too bad, really. I'm gonna add just a little more exposure on this one. There we go. That's a little better. I like that. And of course, let's 
So if you're curious on texture and clarity, what the difference is, let's just jump in like right there. And then if we do the clarity, it kind of cleans things up just a little bit, makes it more clear. But it kind of adds a weird look to it sometimes. So a lot of times I opt out for the texture because it's kind of the same, but it's a little more subtle in the way it does it. Gives it a more gritty look without being too gritty. What is that? Looks like the um, horizon. Yeah, the horizon was off just a little while. Wow. That doesn't happen much. All right, see that one, we got that one done. That one, not much going on compared to that one. So let's skip this one. That's kind of a fun shot. One thing I find difficult about shooting sports is a lot of the images have the same players in them. Same athletes are always in them. And it's usually the best ones. So you try and get other athletes in your photos, but sometimes you just can't do that. Yeah, I can live with that. Not that one so much. I've got a couple of this one. We got that one. Get our eyes closed. This one. Don't really care for either one of these, truthfully. And I've got them in several other images, so let's move past these two images. And this one we can drop in. This one, we're going to kind of do a little free, free hand here. I really want to focus just on her. Off to the shadows. This one needs a little more exposure brought out, which happens when you shoot the way I was shooting this, shooting from the dark side, not the bright side. Camera's adjusting, thinking there needs to be a little more light, but yet it can't bring all the light in because it's also reading the back area. All right, then we throw a little texture in a little bit, and that one's good to go. Got one more of her. Like I said, if I have multiples, I will edit them all. Unless it really doesn't have face or any good action in it, because I can later go through, then I'll take a look before I send these images out and decide which one I actually like the best, which one I think is going to sell. Getting some shadows. We're going to add a little more exposure on this one as well. And then drop a little bit of the um, highlights. And yeah, sometimes you add contrast, but if you see what the contrast does to this, it really just makes the image more garbage looking in my opinion. And again, that's another reason I kind of dropped down here to more of a texture type feel because it gives you a little more, a little more greedy look without getting too carried away. So this one, I've got multiple shots. So let's see which one we like the best. So with the first one there, that's not bad. Second one, third one, that's getting better. That's a little more exciting. Fourth one, not too bad. And that one, we've got this player here kind of in the way. So that's not the best one. I'd probably say that one. Actually, I'd probably do both of those. So let's do this one first. And these, I'm probably going to have to do this. I can come in a little bit tighter than normal. Normal, I mean, by the way, I've been shooting most of these, editing these, not quite as tight as usual. No more exposure on it. Let's drop those uh, highlights, of course. Ah, there we go. Got my texture up. Yeah, looking good. Biggie, do you ever produce more than one photo from one image depending on what you crop?
Do I ever produce more than one photo from one image? Uh, I think I know what you mean, but can you explain that? One photo from one image, it sounds like the same thing. Or are you talking about, do I do two different types of edits on one image? Is that what you're asking? Help me, help me. I'm a little confused on that one. All right, so this one we're going to come in and do the same stuff. A little bit of a free crop because we want to get rid of these players. We're not going to be able to get rid of her, so we'll just kind of partially put her in there. And again, let's uh, drop some highlights. Here, bring up the shadows. A little exposure. Add a little grittiness to it. Because it is soccer. I'm going to drop the highlights a little bit more. That one, that one. Um, I usually do one edit per image unless I'm doing it just for me, just to see what something looks like. I really do more than one edit. Eyes closed because she's looking in the sun and that's after the action. We don't care about that one. Now this one, her eyes closed, but it's kind of a fun shot. Let's see if you kind of get in a little bit tighter. Nope, not quite that tight. We're editing a little bit loose. So you got her and you got some room for her to throw it on this side of the image. If you put it over here, if you put her in the center of the image, which a lot of entry level photographers would do, it kind of throws it off. There's no leading room for her. So if I put her over here, it gives her room to throw the ball, which I like that. Yeah, usually, like I said, if I do an edit, it's usually just one edit, unless I'm in the mood later because I wanted, because I saw something that I think might look really good. But you can't put too many different things out because you will confuse the public. They won't know what to do. They won't know what you're trying to accomplish. That's the wrong button. That's the wrong slider. I want to bring this up just a little more. Right, let's add some grittiness to it. There we go, a little grittiness, yeah. All right. Go back, there we go, all right. Floating on air, but there's no ball in the picture, there's nobody else in the picture. We'll skip past that one. And a lot of times when I'm editing, I'm thinking of several different things. I'm thinking of like the parents or relatives who might want to purchase this image and potential for a newspaper sale. So I'm trying to get the newspapers, the media, a couple of different types because they like horizontal and they also like verticals depending on their ad space and how it fits in the, their whole philosophy of newspaper talk as you will. A little more texture. All right. Moving along. Moving along. If we got any others of her, that one's, that's actually a better image. We'll do this one because I don't think I've done any with her yet. So we'll just do this. Get in there. Again, I'm giving some leading room, some room for her to run. So let me, let me do that again. I'm tell you a little more what I'm talking about here in case you don't know. I put her right in the middle. What you want to do is give them some room to move. If she's moving the way she's moving, which is to my right, looking at the screen, I want to make sure she has room to run that way, which would put her about right there. So she has this room right there that she's moving into. If I put her over here, then it's really, it just feels claustrophobic. You don't want to be claustrophobic. So you can move right over this way. Kill the highlights. Let's add a little bit of shadows to it. And I'm um, going to up the exposure just a tad. A little grittiness, a little bit of texture. Hey, TC, how many megapixels are these images shot with? A Sony a7 IV, the camera bot I use, has 33 megapixels I can work with. So even though I don't have the reach that a lot of other lenses would have, and I would probably use for this normally, I've got some room to crop in. So it comes in handy.
Now this one's going to be a little bit tighter. I don't have a lot of room for the ball to go, but that's okay. We got a good, good shot of her going in. And again, like I said, here's something I was trying to get earlier. Let me do a couple of things fast. Oops, not that much. Okay, so again, when I when I shot these, normally you would have the sun to your back, which would make sense. But I was going for this type of look right here. It's more of a cinematic look. So you got this side, which has the nice golden sun shining down on her, but you also have the darker side, which kind of gives you more of a contrast in the image. It's not your normal looking thing that you would get. And it's a tough one to edit sometimes like this one. I really like the colors and the way it looks. Skin tones may, may seem off, but it's golden hour. So they're going to be a little bit different looking, which is fine. And that's, that's good. I think I'm going to drop the saturation just a little bit on this one. I think it's a little harsh. See, just a little bit like that. Just a little. I think I've got a couple of this one. Let's see. So this is one I will edit both of them because they both look kind of fun. Get a little bit tighter. This one I'm going to do a little bit of saturation down and we're going to drop the uh, highlights a little bit. Going to bring up just a little bit more of the shadows so we can see their uniform just a little bit better. Everything else looks pretty good. I didn't need to do that. And a little texture for a little grittiness. And there we go. So it's a shot at one. Okay. One one thousand. It's okay. This one we can come in a little bit tighter. I don't want to cut any of their body parts off though. Again, we're going to drop highlights. We're doing pretty much the same type of stuff in every image. Shadows just up a little bit, a little bit of texture. Again, I don't spend a lot of time editing, editing these photos because I want to get them out to the public as fast as I can. I've actually edited most of these images already and put them out. I thought you guys might be interested in seeing some soccer photos being in, in, blah, being um, edited. That's the word. GC, is it better to shoot sports in sunshine or overcast? Yes. <laughs> uh, in one instance, uh, guy, it depends on what you're shooting sometimes. Uh, if you do overcast, it's kind of like having a soft box to where everything's going to look all the same. But in that regard, you don't get a good contrast like this sunny day here with the sun setting. I've got some contrast that's happening on the players themselves, not just between background and foreground, but on the players themselves, which I like that. Uh, normally, if you want to get really good shots, really good um, sharp images, sunshine will definitely be better. That's kind of a cool shot right there. And again, let's see, I'd move her over here and get a little even tighter. Kind of a fun little image. I like to see her face just a little bit more, but that's okay. I can live with that. We got some shadows once again, a little bit of texture. Just a little more exposure on that one. It's an okay image, not a great image, truthfully, but you have to think of the clients. Who are you? Who'd you take these images for? Like that one, she's way over in the corner. I could edit this one, but I just don't think it's going to look that good. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Ha! Huh. That makes sense. I was thinking that was kind of a weird uh, shot I took there, but so if this one we can zoom all the way in right here.
and show you another little trick if you are having trouble with your horizons. Here's what you can do. You can look at the eyes. As people stand, no, they're not, we don't stand at an angle or anything like that. She's going at an angle, but yet her eyes are still pretty level. So if you needed to, if you look, you can see right there's the eye line. So you've got your horizon right away. You don't need to go off of anything else. You can just use that most of the time if you don't have anything else. It can help you with your, hori your horizon. Whoa. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And the weird thing is sometimes when I'm editing, editing these images, sometimes it feels really good what the edit that I'm doing. Other times I don't like it. Like, here's the interesting thing. This one, she's looking down, which we don't like. You like overcast because it's easier? Yeah, it really can be. You can just get your settings and you're done. There's not much more to worry about. Like this one, she's looking up. She's looking aggressive. She's looking up. I like that. Again, you can see you got the eye line just right. Little room over here for her to run with her coming behind. Which is nice. Let's see, here we go. A little bit of shadows, not too much. Can't do too much on this because right behind is a whole bunch of sunshine kind of messing everything up. But again, yeah, normally you would shoot with the sun to your back, but if you want to try something a little different when the sun's going down. The worst time to, truthfully, yeah, let me finish that. The sun going down, you can get some really good, like, you know, cinematic kind of shots that you don't normally see. Now, the worst time to shoot is a bright sunny day around 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. That puts the sun right up there where you don't want it to be. Because then you really lose face, you lose any type of dimension and definition in your in your athletes. That's the worst time for me to shoot. Okay, we got a few of here already, so let's move on. That's nothing exciting. Okay, we got this one. I think I got a couple of this. See that one, they're not quite at the ball, so let's not worry about that image. This one, they're closer. Closer, got some good, there we go, there we go. So I got a couple that I kind of like. I think I like that one the best. Just, ah, yeah, mostly because she's looking up. So let's just edit this one. And for this one, we're going to pretend we're sending this to the media. So we're going to give them a nice, nice little spread. So we give them the room over here because that's the way they're both moving. And also it's another one of those, um, for instance, if you're shooting for a magazine that wanted to put some copy on it as well, you could do this type of situation, move them over as far as you can. And it gives them this whole area. You can see where my cursor's at this whole area. They could put some text or something else that they wanted. So it's one of those, there's a lot of things you could be thinking about depending on the clients that you're shooting for. All right, so we bring up some of that. Let's give a little bit of grit to it, the texture. Highlights aren't too bad on that one. See, and we'll call that good. All right, move it on. Then we got that one as well. I think that was the best one, so let's just leave that. And of course, these images are always fun. And just kind of zoom right in. Again, if you don't have anything for horizon, you can just look at how she's standing. So her eyes are, is what you would go off of. Oh, I need to move that back a little bit because that's where she's looking. And yes, we need a little more exposure on this because it's reading and making this a little bit darker. I want to go in a little bit tighter on this. Oh yeah, texture, got a little texture, right? A little grit, there we go. 
Oh, that's a fun one right there. Or that one. Oh, cool. Um, this one looks like. Yeah, this one I've already edited. How about that? Yeah, how about that? Huh. I thought that looked pretty good. Or I've got that one too. Now this one I would not use. And can anybody tell me why I would not use this image? Give you a couple seconds while I take a drink. Give up. You give up. She's missing an arm. She's missing her left arm. It's nowhere to be seen. It's gone. Now, if she actually didn't have a left arm, I would use this image, but I know she has two of them. So, so there we go. No, I do not use the Lightroom histogram at all. It's up there and I can see it, but I have no reason to use it when I've got the image right in front of me. I can see exactly what's going on and what I want it to do. That's the fun thing when it comes to editing. It's kind of like, you know, it's up to you. What do you like? What is, what do you like the images to look like? Like, see, that's the image I don't like. So remove it on. Same with that one. Got them dancing. And I would go with the, I would, this is the run I would keep. I would edit this image and keep this one because it has a little more friction going on. She's starting to stand out, stand up or I'll put her leg down and that's when she does it. So it's a little less frictiony. It's a little less action. So for this one, definitely just center them right in there. Nice and tight. Give them some room to breathe on both tops, bottom and sides. And there you go. This one we can get rid of those highlights a little bit. And green with the go again with the golden hour it's kind of nice because I've got some good skin tones, good colors that way. Don't have to worry about too much. Shadows on this one, I'm gonna drop just a little. Yep, no arm. You got it. Friction. I like friction. I like friction in my image. Unless you're answering the other question. You're probably answering the other question. So we can skip past that one. Oh, this is a fun one. Always got to get, get some of the officials. Oops, that's a little tight right there. I'm going to put the flag just right back on the corner there. And there we go. I think it's a little red. So let's um, let's mess with the exposure. Let's get that down a little bit. Now we're going to have a little fun with this one. We're going to make this a little more contrasty, maybe make it pop just a little more. So once I get rid of all the shadows, we're going to get rid of the highlights almost completely. Now, let's see. We've got some contrast. Ah, there we go. Now, if we put too much, yeah, it makes it just really ugly. But we give them just a little bit of contrast. That's kind of cool. And this one, I might go for a little bit of clarity as well. And pushing it a little bit. Might be pushing it just a little bit. I'm going to bring some shadows back now. And probably, let's drop some of this red down. It's a little crazy. A little crazy hot. We'll make him a little more. We can make it purple. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit with that. A little bit of the hue down. Luminance. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I think that's kind of cool looking. I think he'll like that one. So they're fighting it out. I like that. Yeah, I mean, we got, we got two. That's another one. You got two. You got this one, which is good. That's fine. And you got this one and this one has more action, more excitement, more friction going on. The ball is not just lying basically on the ground. It's up moving around. So let's edit this one. Let's put it right there in the center. All right, let's get past these, move up to here. Here we got some good colors going on. Bring up shadows. So bring out her uniform just a little more, drop those highlights. Sometimes the highlights wash things out a little too much for me. And again, let's add some texture to it. Boom. There we go. Now this one, I just, man, that one doesn't look much fun to edit. 
Doesn't look like it'd be a good one to sell, even. Okay, it's a little too far away. Now we got her coming this way. Let's see how many shots we got. See, now we're getting better. That's really cool right there. That's the shot. That is the shot right there. And we're going to talk about it. Talk about why it's the shot. Okay, let me edit it first. And a little exposure on this one. We're going to, I'm not going to worry about the highlights on this. Let's bring out some of the shadows. Little texture, maybe. Yeah, see, the highlights don't matter on this one. It's not even affecting anything. Okay, we're going to go in a little bit tighter, though. Squeeze right on in there. Again, I'm going to give them a little bit of running room on this side. If you go over here, it's a little too much. If you go here, they have no place to room. Again, it's a little claustrophobic. Bug life ref. Yeah, he looks great, doesn't he? I don't like that one. Oh, okay. That's a okay. Let me move this up. It's almost a little too tight. Okay, so I like this one. Here's why I like this one. You got some action, and they are both floating. They are not touching the plane surface at all. Neither is the ball. So you have everything just kind of floating. That could be like a new magazine title, Thug Life Ref, and just do a magazine full of refs and them looking all tough and <laughs> that'd be hysterical. I like this. Now, again, on this image here, we have everything is off the ground. We have her number 10 looking up. So we've got some good eyes there. 11 isn't, but that's okay. We have everything else going on. A lot of action, a lot of friction. It's just like, actually, actually there's like no friction in this one because they're all floating, which is really great. I like that. That's a, I really like that image. That one's not quite as much fun. Neither is that one. Yeah, we already had the good one. We got this one. And sometimes, yeah, things just happen right in front of you and you have to take advantage. Don't be afraid to take the image. Totally different mindset when you're a sports photographer. You take what you can. Um, it's not a favorite image of mine. Mostly because she's just kind of looking up into the sky, which doesn't quite fit the plane surface that you would normally be on. Let's just edit it anyway, since we're already here. You can drop some of the shadows and highlights down. Let's get that texture up. I'm going to drop the skin tone down just a little bit on this one. Let's drop some saturation of the orange. It's almost too much. Again, it's golden hour, so there's going to be some different hues and colors on it, but I think it's just a little too much. See, there we go. That, that looks a lot better. Thug life. I like that. So this one we have to decide. There's this one, which is kind of fun. And then there's this one. This is one of those cases that I, I'll probably edit both of them. Yeah, so see, we'll just get as tight as we can, I think. Let's go like that. Once again, let's do the usual stuff. Let's bring up some shadows. Drop some highlights. Do just a little more exposure on it. And a little bit of texture. I think that's a little too much exposure. Ah, stop slipping on me. There we go. And we're going to do this one too, right? <laughs> we're going to edit both of them. We're going to edit both of these images. We'll do a quick one on this. And we can go a little tighter. Well, a little tighter. Make her the star. All right, TC. Have a good night. Hope you sleep well. And thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Gave us a couple of good laughs there in the Thug Life rep. I like that. I gotta, I'm going to have to run with that. All right, some shadows. And I promise I'll try and do some earlier streams. I was thinking about that the other day. There's probably some people who are in bed, going to bed like you, who might want to watch. So definitely think about that. All right. 
sharpening. Don't have to worry about any of that. Everything looks fine. Getting down to the end anyway. Don't have many of these left. Now this one, okay, that's not the one. Get rid of that one. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Let's go. We got several of this one. I think. Well, that's a tough one. Let's just edit both of them. Now, this is the problem, though, when it is getting so late, things are starting to get almost too dark. Yeah, see how dark that is? That's almost too dark right there. Yeah, even if I bring up the shadows and this, it's just start washing things out. It's not going to be quite as good. So we'll just do a couple quick edits on these ones. Now, I'll look at them again later. A lot of times I edit my images and I go back and I'll just take a quick look to see if I still like them. Yeah, so now it's kind of pushing to where it's almost would have been better to move my position. That fine line. But the good thing is, you can move around if you want. All right, we are at almost at our last image. So let's do a couple more edits and I will probably call it a night. A little bit tighter, a little tighter. Give them some room to run. Voila. That's a great look on her face right there. Let's see, get those shadows up. Oh, not that far. There we go. Not gonna worry about the exposure. Let's drop some highlights. A little bit of texture, and there we go. So we got a couple more of these. Let's go ahead and do this one too. Now what you could do, there is a program, it's it's Luminar. Yes, the one that I get frustrated with. But well, what you could do with Luminar, you could replace this sky back here and it would look pretty cool. You may have to do a video about that. I'm not a big fan of Luminar right now, but the sky replacement works really well. So see, we've got some shadows, so it brings out the uniforms a little more. Again, we don't need all those highlights, kind of block off the back here. We don't need any of that. And a little bit of texture to make it pop a little bit more. And there we go. This is a fun one because she's definitely focused. I guess that was okay. All right, let's uh, drop shadows or bring the shadows out a little bit. Drop some highlights, a little bit of texture again. Skin tone looks fine. All right, this is our last image, everybody. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I was like, I don't There we go. There we go. Again, you got some harsh sunlight coming back, so I'm going to drop those highlights a little bit, which doesn't really affect much. But then you got to bring out some shadows. So you can see it's kind of giving it kind of a cool look though. It's kind of breaking the background up. You got bright behind and you got the darker in the front. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, so we got that good. Alrighty, everybody, we're approaching almost an hour. That was all the soccer images I have for you guys tonight. So I think we will call it a night and thank everybody for joining me. And Figgy was here tonight. Thank you. We got TC was here. And I believe I saw Smeet. Uh, what was the name? Sweet Smell of Rain, I believe, was here as well. So I appreciate each and every one of you showing up. I'm going to call it a night. So everybody, have a good one. And don't forget, get out and shoot.